Hey guys, Luke with Cycles and Suds here. We're gonna do a quick install on this Polaris 9R. This is gonna be the same as your Polaris Boost as well. They both run the P22 clutch. So first off, we're gonna go over what's in the kit. Here we have our secondary spring. We have our primary spring. We have our helix here. And we also have our weights. So our weights are already built for your rider weight and your rider elevation. That's the way we ship them out. So all you have to do is you just have to install them. You don't have to mess with putting any magnets or any weight in the weight itself. So that way it's already set up. We're gonna get right into it. Already have this sud uh, tore apart a little bit here, as you can see. So starters, what you wanna do is you wanna pull the T40 out of here, the T40 out of here. This has a little clip and all you do is you just pull it out and then that gives you access here. From there, you're gonna go ahead, use your belt tool, you're gonna to pull your belt off, and then you're gonna take a 15 millimeter, undo your 15 millimeter, and then you're gonna pull this out carefully. You don't wanna lose any of these washers, like I about just did, or your spacer. So you wanna keep that all together. And then from there, you're gonna pull your secondary clutch off, like that, and when you pull this off, you wanna be really careful. What happens is all of these spacers that align your clutch, they like to stick on the back of here. So you, as soon as you pull it off, you wanna roll it up, make sure you don't have anything stuck there. And if you do, just go ahead, and slide it back on the shaft. So from there, we're gonna hurry and undo our secondary belt tool. I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. So we're gonna start with the primary here. We'll do the secondary here in a minute. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull these two 10 millimeter bolts here and these two 10 millimeter bolts as well. I'm gonna leave these two in and tight for now. So after I got those four bolts out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break these two loose just a hair. And then after you get these two broke loose, what you're gonna wanna do is you know have a buddy over with you or have somebody give you kind of a hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Kobe here. He's gonna run the gun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands like this and I'm gonna hold the tension on this spring while he pulls the bolts out the rest of the way. So as soon as he gets all those bolts, you wanna let this out nice and easy and then you're apart. One thing that you just wanna be careful with is you wanna do it as even as possible because this bushing right here you don't want to, especially going back in or going out, you don't want to have it on an angle and hurt the inside of this bushing. As soon as you get the face cover off, one thing to mention as well is three different ways you can put this back on. You can put it on like that, you can put it on like that, or like that. What I recommend is when you get ready to pull it apart is you want to take a Sharpie and you can just draw a line so you know exactly how it come off or if you forget to do that, there's a Polaris symbol here on the spider and then a Polaris symbol here on the face cover. And what that does is you line the Polaris symbols up together. So you got Polaris symbol, Polaris symbol. Obviously, you don't wanna unbalance your clutch and have it installed like that or like that. You wanna have that going back together. So as soon as we get there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull our weights out. So this is an eighth inch Allen. This is a three eighths here. We're gonna go ahead and pull our pin, pins out. Go ahead and do that. Pop the pin. And then we're gonna pull this out as well. And one thing that I like to do is remember which where this works so that way you keep your primary clutch nice and balanced you want to know which one goes where so that one goes there so i know that this is the one to the right of my polaris symbol this is going to be my polaris symbol one i normally start here with this one so i'm going to set that one there and then when i put them back in i put them all back in the same way they come out so once i get everything removed I'm gonna go ahead and start installing our weights. So I'm gonna start here at the Polaris symbol. I know the one I like to work is I'm gonna start here on the left and work left to right. So I'm gonna start here and spin, work to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead, reinstall that, install my weight. 
go ahead and put that back in there and reinstall this. And you want to make sure those are nice and snug. So I'm going to work to the right and I'll pick up my next spacer. Go ahead and install it. Then my weight and pin. After I get my weights installed, I'm going to set my secondary spring here. Kobe has his two bolts that he took out. I'm going to make sure I have my Polaris symbols lined up. So my Polaris symbols are lined up there and then I'm going to have Kobe run both of these bolts down in just snug so that way it holds itself and then when you're pushing this on you want to make sure you keep it as square as possible so you don't hurt that bushing. So here I'm going to grab a hold of this. Okay, once we get those two snugged up, we can go ahead and reinstall. So once I got all of them kind of snugged down, you don't want to get too crazy with the impact and end up breaking one off. That's a bad day. I'm going to go ahead and take my ratchet, hold my clutch here, snug them up. So they're nice and tight. Then I'm going to go ahead and go around it once more, make sure I got all of them. From there, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the secondary clutch over on the bench where it's easier to work on it. All you have to do is compress it that far to get that snap ring out of it. So one thing that when you're putting this back together, this is keyed right here. So you have to make sure you get that keyway lined up. Okay, as soon as you get your secondary spring installed, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Loctite to our helix bolts. This is a single track helix. So those rollers are gonna roll inside of this. So when you set this in, you don't want it like that. You want to set it in so that leading edge starts like so. So here you can see it's a little off, but if you take a hold of this, you can spin that around until you get your bolt holes lined up. Go ahead, get them started. Go ahead and tighten them up nice and tight. They don't have to be overly tight, just probably I would say about 12 to 15 foot pounds. And you're done. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall the secondary, our bolt, get our belt back on, reinstall our T40s, and you're ready to ride.